Hey guys, just want to take a minute to review this ProRec um, mini line array system that's that's being sold. I know Bose has one, and um, well, actually a lot of companies now have them, but I'm going to try to get it in the picture here. So there you go, 10-inch woofer. Ten inch woofer, four three inch drivers. There's the control panel. We've got, if you can see that, we've got a uh, mic line in mic mic one volume, mic two volume. We got mic echo, which which attaches to these two, and we got your uh, line input, and we have uh, RCA jacks and a line out where if you want to. Um, if you want to run them in stereo, you just run a line out to, to, another, uh, to another console. So yeah, we have SD card in and USB in. And And of course we have Bluetooth as well. And I've got this one actually hooked up to my TV. Uh, so we kind of use it as a surround sound. Uh, and I also hook in my guitars. And stuff with it, um, bass guitars, mandolins. Uh, I have an array of instruments uh, that I play, but this is a great option. So today, I know this video is not going to do much justice uh, with the sound quality. So today, what I want to do is I just kind of want to pick around and 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 just try to give you an example of what it would sound like. Um, I know that's not going to be a true sound, but but. But I definitely recommend you get one of these. It's it's I'm excited about it. Uh, it's it's a great line array system, mini line array system, and um, it's perfect for around the house. I think it's 500 watts is what it is what it uh, says. It's not. It's uh, only probably about 100 watts uh, RMS. But it is it does get pretty loud. It does. Um, today I'm going to be going through my Boss GT 100. And my little parts caster here. And we're just gonna um, we're just gonna sample it, just give you a sound sample. Now, before I start playing, I've been playing a lot of bass guitar lately. Haven't been playing a lot of electric guitar, so just bear with me. Uh, I'm not gonna have a lot of drive on this. I don't wanna cover up any of the sounds. I just kinda wanna give you the most natural sound that I can, um, so you can hear, hopefully coming from this um, array system, uh, how clear it is, and um, it, it does pack a punch. It has, like I said, it has a 10-inch sub and four drivers, and I'm going to be changing one of the drivers, not because I have to, because I want to, but we'll talk about that after the sound sample. So this is, this is a, a Fender, an emulated fender with 60% uh, gain and I am on um, my bridge pickup no coil split running humbucker and brand new strings so I may be out of tune but, uh, but here we go <laughs> So yeah, so there you go. Uh, let me turn to the clean. I'm going to put on both pickups, tone wide open, uh, voice coil wide open, and let me take the delay and stuff off so you can hear it naturally. <laughs> So, 
that just rattled my windows. The frequent frequency response to this thing is unreal. It's 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 crystal clear. Um, it's only overdrive when you want it to be. I've got it like on five, I think, and you could literally, literally I could probably play a show with this uh, the way it is right now. I've got I've got the uh, Pro Rec on five, and I've got my boss on about 11, about ten o'clock, ten or eleven o'clock. So I'm not giving it a lot, but it's giving me a lot. It, it's 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 clean, it's uh, crisp volume. Now, um, now let's talk about these four three inch uh, mid drivers. So it comes with one ten, as I said, and four three inch mid drivers. Now. I am going to be changing the top mid driver to a three inch horn, a horn tweeter. Um, I may link it down below um, if I can find it again on Amazon. No way, I got it on parts. I got it at Parts Express, so I won't. I won't link it down down below. But um, it was like twenty dollars, and uh, I actually got the idea from a guy who reviewed this same same one um, on Amazon. Um, he enjoyed his, but he said it really come to life once he put the horn tweeters in. He did two. I think two is going to be too much for me. Um, but I'm going to do one and, and I may review that again afterwards. I, I'm not, I'm just not sure how, how, how good you guys can, can hear how clear this is. Um, but I just wanted to get it out there. I wanted to get the name out there to say, hey, you know, there is an affordable option outside of a Bose or or, or whatever other um, um, arrays that, that are popping up nowadays. I know Gemini has one for like $600. Um, I think UV, I think, uh, is that, who is that? I think that's, EV has one too. I think Electro Voice has one. I'm, I'm not sure, but, but anyway, um, I'm no longer in the market for one. I have one. This is this one's great. So um, if you're a one man show, if you just uh, have an acoustic guitar, maybe a pad behind you, um, this is great. You know, just a vocalist, acoustic guitar. You can Bluetooth a, a pad in and get free channels out of this thing. And you know, I would say it, it would fill a club of uh, a room, a club, whatever, of about a hundred people. Uh, with no problem, maybe a uh, wedding party or, or something like that. Um, small church would be perfect for a small church. In fact, that's probably what I'll use mine for, um, just doing an acoustic set uh, as, as a worship leader. But, um, but yeah, so we got, um, we got two channels. We got, uh, we got a line one, line two. Those are quarter inch, and then we have a XLR in. It does not give you phantom power, so what I would suggest is probably invest in a four-channel mixer, four-channel or above mixer. Um, tie everything that you have into that mixer. If you're a one-man show, you can have it sitting right here on your right-hand side, and you can adjust your own sound. You don't have to worry about a sound man adjusting you. You get the sound you want. Um, you can adjust as needed. And... Um, you know, if you if you get one with effects, you can have an effects out. You can have uh, your the delay, reverb, whatever you need uh, set for your vocals. And uh, a lot of those little four channel and above mixers have a USB out, so you can actually record your show and uh, you know and possibly produce it and um, you know put it on YouTube or sell CDs or whatever. That's what I would do. But um, but yeah, so if you just want a light. Uh, PA total PA system, you know, I, I think this is the way to go here. I mean, it's $230 and, uh, you know, it's totally upgradable. If you don't like the sub or if you need the sub to handle more power or maybe um, just just don't like a, a, a generic sub, then go to Parts Express and buy one, a 10-inch sub, and put it in. I think it's 4-ohm sub, 8-ohm drivers, and, um, and have at it. So I have not... Uh, played my bass guitar through it yet. I've so far here. Here are the instruments I have and that I play. I have uh, electric guitars, bass, acoustic bass, mandolins, uh, ganjo, uh, twelve string acoustics, and of course just six string acoustics. And um, 
you know, two channels is all I, uh, is all I really need. Plus my Bluetooth, I can Bluetooth a pad in. I like to have a soft pad playing behind me. And, um, you know, I mean, this thing is, it's, it really sounds good. I don't think the, um, I don't, I don't think my plane really does it just here. Um, on YouTube, uh, there's no way to really give you that live sound uh, through a digital media. But, uh, but I definitely would endorse someone who's just looking for a small PA, just a small get up to, uh, to get it and, uh, and, and gig with it. I, I really honestly believe that, that, that you can gig with it. And if, you don't th and if you buy it for $230, it's a great starting point. If you don't think that this thing is giggable, then you can go buy name brand 3-inch drivers and tweeters, horn tweeters, and you can go buy you a 10-inch sub and, and basically re just rebuild this thing uh, for another $100 maybe, $100, $150, and still be under $500. Uh, and, and, that's the, and that's the next competitor is the Gemini, and I think it's $599. So, you know, if you, if you buy this for $230 and get online and go buy some Electro Voice subs and Electro Voice uh, drivers, three inch drivers, I mean, you basically have an Electro, uh, electro Voice system at this point. And, uh, and, and w we know the quality of EV. I, I mean, they're, they're, they're second to none, in my opinion. Um, but I, at this time, I, I just don't, I don't need that. Now, um, you know, once I get out there gigging and, um, you know, carrying this thing around, I, I, I may, you know, I may, or I may just buy another one for $230 and put them in stereo and have one on one side of me and one on the other side of so, me. So yeah, I would definitely recommend picking one up. Um, like I said, you can run them stereo, you can run a mono. Uh, for my needs, this is all I need. I just need one right now. If I was doing a bigger show with 200, 200 and above people, I, I may get one for, for stereo, but, but for right now, this is fine. So uh, if you have any questions, just uh, drop me a line below and uh, I'll answer them to the best of my ability. And in the meantime, oh, I, I will leave a link to uh, the Amazon page where you can get this. And uh, I do think it comes with a money back guarantee. So you know what? I suggest for $230, get it, try it. If you don't like it, send it back. I, I'm not sure if they char charge you shipping or not, but uh, it's definitely worth a try. It definitely shocked me. I was not expecting that this this kind of sound quality and this um, kind of loudness to come from, from this little thing. So yeah, so drop me a, uh, uh, your comments below and I'll see you next time.